And here is the indoor sort of seed sprouting unit. It's really not big enough for me to grow anything of note in here. I've got four avocado pits. I'm not really going to dedicate a whole lot of time to those just because even though you can grow avocado trees from pits, they it's very, very rare, apparently, that you actually get trees that bear fruit. So since I'm focusing on food bearing plants, I'm going to, you know, maybe, I'm going to maybe focus on those a little bit, but I'm not going to waste too much time. The other apparatus that I have here is just a baking dish. I I put a cover over it just of some stretch plastic wrap, cut two slits and a hole in the plastic wrap so that I could add water and I draped a paper towel in with either side dipping into the water. I did not moisten the paper towels that are up here at all. Um, that's all capillary action. It's drawing that water up from the baking dish and it's wetting that paper towel with it. Um, I have the base paper towel. I put some seeds on there, just a smattering of everything that I have. The dragon fruit seeds, both kinds of pepper, and the end of the pumpkin and butternut squash just a little bit of each, just to see if I can get this to sprout. Not really sure what I'm gonna do with them if they do, because <laughs> it's already August, and it's, you know, even though it is Florida, you can't go planting stuff like this in the fall and expect it to last. The cactus I can probably grow indoor. Uh, dragon fruit grows on a cactus, so. I can probably grow that indoors. I can't imagine it grows very fast. But, yeah, as far as the peppers and the pumpkin vines, really don't see planting those until next year. But it'll be fun to see what it does. And it'll be interesting to see if this is enough light and the right kind of light to get these plants to grow. Like I've, like I've said before, I'm not a botanist. I don't even qualify as a gardener. So, we'll see. This is all just experimentation right now. 